We start in Russia, where Vladimir Putin and North Korea's Kim Jong-un are set to have met and exchanged greetings at a spaceport in Russia's Far East. Our Unification Ministry correspondent Ireyan reports. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un has reportedly arrived for a meeting with Russian President Vladimir Putin at a Russian spaceport, the Vostochny Cosmodrome in the Amur Oblast in the Russian Far East. That's according to the Russian news agency TASS, which said that Kim met with his Russian counterpart there, shook hands with him, and had a brief conversation. The top summit between the two leaders appears to be starting soon. Kim entered Russia by train at the border city of Hassan on Tuesday at 6 a.m. local time, according to the Northeast state-run Korean Central News Agency on Wednesday. Kim was greeted there by Russian central and local government officials, including the Minister of Natural Resources and Environment and the Governor of Primorsky Krai. The officials said that they were sent by Russian President Vladimir Putin to welcome Kim. Kim said his first visit to Russia in four years was a distinctive expression to highlight the strategic importance of Pyongyang-Moscow relations. After their meeting at the spaceport, Japan's Kyoto News earlier said that the two leaders are expected to visit an aircraft plant in Komsomolsk on Amur. This comes as it was announced that Putin would visit the spaceport after a session at the Eastern Economic Forum. Analysts say that the meeting at the space force symbolizes the two leaders' intention to show their will for military cooperation, especially in the space technology sector. The aircraft plan, too, is also relatable to their potential military ties as the plan produces a range of fighter jets, including high-tech fifth-generation jets. A shipyard to launch attack submarines is also located in that area, too, which could interest the North as it recently launched its first tactical nuclear submarine earlier this month. More concerns are about to come, with close military ties between the two appearing to be just around the corner. Lee Dae-hyun, Arirang News.